At the heart of the Neroten Heights neighborhood in Darien, Connecticut, lies Darien Commons, a recently redeveloped area that has revitalized the neighborhood and brought new life into the community. Strategically positioned right across the street from the Neroten Heights train station, this modern hub boasts a diverse array of retail outlets, dining options, and residential spaces. With new businesses continually flocking to the area, Darien Commons continues to epitomize convenience and accessibility, offering residents a seamless blend of amenities right at their doorstep. But Neroten Heights isn't just about commerce. It's a vibrant tapestry of residential and natural beauty. From its eclectic mix of home styles, including colonials, Cape Cods, and contemporary designs, to its well-maintained streets and spacious yards, this neighborhood exudes suburban charm. Beyond the bustling streets, Woodland Park Nature Preserve beckons with its tranquil trails, picturesque ponds, and informative stations showcasing the area's rich flora and fauna. And McWayne Park, also in Neroten Heights, provides a recreational haven for Darien residents who are passionate about sports. If that wasn't enough, Darien council members are working on plans for a 63-acre waterfront park that is easily accessible by foot or bike from the Neroten Heights neighborhood. Let's take a closer look. Hi, my name is Charlie Vinci. I am a former construction business owner turned real estate agent, and my family's been right here in Connecticut's Gold Coast for five generations. Buyers, you'll keep from missing opportunities and avoid overpaying with my approach. Sellers, you'll net the most money with my experience positioning your home for profit and by introducing your home to our vast network of buyers. Call me when you're ready to buy or sell. It seems impossible to talk about Neroten Heights without mentioning the recently developed Darien Commons. This modern shopping center is a significant addition to the area, revitalizing the neighborhood with a mix of retail and residential spaces. Its pedestrian-friendly design and diverse array of shops make this neighborhood a top choice for buyers seeking close proximity to the amenities they'll need on a daily basis. New businesses are being added here regularly, so keep an eye out for even more options. Just a stone's throw from Darien Commons is a smaller shopping plaza with even more everyday amenities, including a bank, post office, and Darien's oldest grocery store, Palmer's Market, which has actually been in business for over 100 years. Right across the street from this excellent village area, you'll find the Neroten Heights train station, which will get you to Grand Central in about 55 minutes. Its proximity to Darien Commons allows commuters to grab coffee before their train or a meal with family and friends when they arrive home, making your daily commute just that much better. There are also plenty of dining and shopping options surrounding downtown Darien, which is just a few minutes away. Check out this tour that we created on the downtown area to learn more. The homes in Neroten Heights vary in style with everything from colonials to Cape Cods to more contemporary designs. Some homes will boast spacious yards, ideal for families or gardening enthusiasts. However, the lots are smaller than you expect in Northern Darien. The neighborhood's well-maintained sidewalks and streets are an excellent example of suburban living and enhance the walkability of the area. On the western side of Neroten Heights, you'll find the Woodland Park Nature Preserve. Spanning 65 acres, this preserve offers convenient access through two entrances, leading to a network of trails that wind around two picturesque ponds a gently flowing stream, and a charming footbridge. East of Woodland Park is McGuane Park. Located right behind the fire department, the fields here are home to Darien's Little League, as well as the baseball and softball teams. In addition to the ball fields, you'll find a playscape for kids, a concession stand, and batting cages. This park is a vital asset to Darien's youth. Another exciting development is the upcoming Great Island Park. Although it's technically outside of the Neroten Heights neighborhood, you'll be able to easily walk or ride your bike to this park. The town recently purchased the 65-acre parcel of waterfront land and is in the process of developing it into a park for town residents. Once this park is complete, it will transition Neroten Heights and the surrounding area into one of the most walkable and desirable areas in the Gold Coast. Check out this video that I created explaining more about this upcoming development. Near the previously mentioned McWayne Park is Middlesex Middle School, and a bit north of that is Darien High School. 
The two are conveniently located only a half mile apart from each other, making pickups and drop-offs a breeze. All children attending public school in Darien will go to these schools. There are, however, five elementary schools in Darien. If you live in the Narotan Heights neighborhood, your children will likely attend Royal Elementary School, which is also nearby. By the way, the school your child will go to is determined by your address in Darien. To find out which school your child will go to, try the school lookup feature in our Darien Buyer's Guide, where I have also compiled all of my Darien maps, videos, and research to help make your home buying experience a success. If you're thinking about buying or selling in Darien, call me.